good morning kids uh, <coughs> today's class we'll discuss about the refraction of spherical surface uh, we have a point object o is placed at a distance to r from base of a solid glass hemisphere as shown find the position of final image let refractive index of the sphere be mu equal to 2 and radius is 10 cm so here what all the object it is kept here the point object is kept at a distance to r let r be the radius of this one let r be the radius of this and let mu be the refractive index to find so let mu be the refractive index of the glass sphere now we have to calculate the position of the final image so what is being asked is we have to calculate the position of this final image okay. so we'll start with this one so the incident ray the incident ray will start <coughs> let this be the incident ray so it will the incident ray will traverse like this will strike the boundary fine then afterwards this is the normal this is a normal now the ray is moving from th this particular ray is moving from rarer to denser so therefore what should happen to the ray should bend towards normal so the ray will bend towards normal then after when it bends it will form the image a type one this is what this will be the refracted ray this one so how how the path of the ray the path of the ray will be like this so the ray will start from object o after refraction it will go like this fine now <laughs> we'll calculate the position of image i1 so let this be refracting surface p1 p2 this is the first boundary this is the first boundary what you can see that air and glass interface Let this be A, and this is the glass which is given, and let this be the A. We'll apply the refraction at spherical surface at with respect to this boundary formula, and we'll calculate the position I one. Fine. Okay, let's start this one at P one. The incident ray is moving towards right. The incident ray how how it will move? The incident ray is moving. towards right after refraction it will meet the curved surface okay let's write the formula this will be uh, where the refracted ray is present the refracted ray is present in the denser medium so therefore the formula will be mu by p1 i1 minus 1 by p1 o equal to mu minus 1 by infinity now we have to analyze here what is this mu mu of what this mu is of refractiveness of the this glass agreed then what is this one this one is the refractiveness of this air what is this p1 i1 p1 i1 is this object distance so this finally made distance this one okay right? then what is p1 o what is p1o p1o will be <coughs> this object distance object distance is how much to us that we are going to substitute and that is what this p1o agree okay we'll substitute all the things this should become equal to mu will be 2 p1i1 minus 1 p1o minus 2r equal to 2 minus 1 This will be anyway. This will be infinite. This will be zero. Now, why 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 this will be minus two r? 
how we measure the object distance we'll measure object distance from the p1 no p1 no and how it is measured opposite to the incident ray the incident ray is moving towards right so therefore we have to we'll write this convention what is the direction of incident ray the direction of incident ray is this incident ray after refraction it will be like this huh? so what direction the incident ray is moving towards right and how how the distance p1o is measured is towards left so therefore it should be taken as negative therefore this minus 2r it will come we'll solve for p1 i1 is equal to P one I one equal to minus of four R. This is our one conclusion. So where the image will be formed? The image will be formed at a distance four R from the plane surface P one. Fine. So this remaining distance this should be equal to two R. Let's take the next again. The ray, the ray will undergo refraction at which surface? This is the normal. So what is this <coughs> line I drew? This is the normal for the curved refracting surface, for this curved refracting surface. So the ray from where to where is moving? The ray is moving from denser medium to rather medium. It should bend away from normal. So it will come and meet the axis at this particular point. I will draw that one. We'll draw accordingly. So this will be finally the ray will come and meet here. We have to calculate this particular distance. At what distance from the curved surface the image is formed? We'll apply the Snell's law again. Now again the the formula for this will be where the refracted is present. The refracted ray is present in it. So therefore, what is the equation will be? The equation will be at P2, the ray is moving, the incident ray is moving towards right. So where the refracted ray is present, the refracted ray is present in A. So therefore, what should be the refractiveness of A equal to 1? So the formula will be 1 into P2 I2 minus. Where the incident is present, it is present in this glass medium. So therefore, what is the refractive index? It will be 2 then the image i1, this i1 will become object for this refracting surface. So what is P2 i2? This total distance P2 i2, P2 i1 has to be substituted here. So this should be equal to P2 i1, equal to 1 minus 2, the radius of curvature. <coughs> what is the radius of curvature? This everything will become R. Or, or this is R. For this curved surface, what is the radius of curvature? This will be R, no? So therefore, this will be minus R. Why negative sign? Why negative sign here? Because how is the incident ray? The incident ray is towards right. And how do we measure P2R? The P2R, will we are measuring the radius opposite to incident ray. Therefore, it should be negative. Fine. This one. Let's substitute this one. Let's solve this one. This will be 1 by P2 I2 minus 2. P2 I1 will be 5R minus 5R is equal to 1 by R. P2 I2 is equal to 1 by R minus 2 by 5R. So finally, P2 I2 be equal to phi r by 3. Pay the final image. The final image will be formed at this particular point. Where the object? The object was here. How the ray? The ray first will move from air and will undergo refraction at plane surface. It is moving from right to denser, will bend 
towards normal again moving from the glass to the air it is moving from density will bend away from normal and finally it will meet the axis at the point i2 this will be your final image will like to see final image okay this was the question of no find the position of final image so at what distance it will be pi r by 3 from the curved surface so what is the answer now final image is formed at a distance pi r by 3 from curved surface Listen. So this is the curved surface and plane surface. What we have now, with respect to that, what we define the position of the final images. Okay, with respect to point P two is what we have defined the the position of the final image. Okay, kids. Huh? Well, tomorrow we'll have the next. We'll we'll take the next one more problem. Thank you all of you. Thanks for watching.